tequila? No, dude, straight up. Good man. It's too dry, too austere, too measured. Bach doesn't have to be so removed. I like the clean lines. You should allow more of yourself into the music. This is just the instrument. You are the interpreter. Iris found her about 6 o'clock this morning. We, uh, we shut down the club after a private after hours party. The rehearsals are set for Wednesday and Friday mornings, if that's all right with you. It's fine. Nancy. Yeah? The police department in San Francisco has been trying to reach you at your home. I don't know how to say this. I'm so very sorry. 
They found your sister Anne this morning. She's been murdered. You two involved? She wasn't my best friend. That's not what she told the other nurses. Well, Anne didn't always tell the truth about things. You saying your best friend was a liar? I I'm not so sure she knew what the truth was. She would change stories like uh, some people change clothes. She seemed upset about anything the last couple of weeks? No, uh, nothing more than usual. Ever sleep with her? No. You sure? This is really, really hard for me, OK? I, uh, I really cared about Anne. But I'm not surprised that things turned out like this. She had a, a lot of problems, and she wasn't always careful about who she'd go home with. If you guys will excuse me. Can't you settle on something? 22 pounds of heroin was seized along with a small Police have begun an investigation of the murder of Ann Parkhurst, an emergency room nurse at Doctors Hospital, whose body was found this morning in the parking lot outside Club Blue. Hey, Kilpatrick, I hear you're working on the Parkhurst murder. What do you got? Nervous boyfriend, nothing concrete. When you get a suspect, do you mind if I sit in on the interrogation? What for? Ah, uh, commander's asked me to prepare a report on interrogation techniques. I'll save you the time. We do bad cop, good cop, and I'm always a nice guy. Thank you for the summation, but arrest to conviction ratios are down. Commander wants me to make some suggestions. I'd really like to follow the case. Ann Parker's sister's in your office. She flew in from Boston, came straight from the airport. Do you mind if I join you? If the commander wants you to sit in, that's fine with me. Just keep your mouth shut and stay out of the way. I'm, I'm Mark Reichert. This is Lieutenant Kilpatrick. He's in charge. Reichert's a department shrink. Nancy Parkhurst. Why don't you have a seat? Both of you. <clears throat> we're, we're both very sorry about you, sister. Thank you. I need to ask you some questions about Anne's personal life, if that's OK. Is she involved with anyone? No, not to my knowledge, not seriously. Can you tell me about her friends? I think they were mostly nurses and doctors and people from the hospital where she worked. What about Iris? I saw Iris this morning. She's got pierced earrings and every imaginable orifice. Definitely not a brain surgeon. I don't know her. Your sister did. We all have acquaintances, don't we? Your sister into drugs? No. You sure? Yes, absolutely. You know she tried to commit suicide? <sighs> I found razor tracks in her wrists. I'll know more after I talk to the coroner, but the scars look fresh. No, there must be some other explanation. Anne saved lives. She would never try to kill herself. Anybody who does strangers these days has some kind of death wish. Hey. I don't know who you've been talking to, but they've given you the wrong impression. Anne was not suicidal, and she certainly was not promiscuous. Miss Parkhurst, I think your sister was killed by someone she knew. So if you know anything about any of her acquaintances, I'd appreciate you sharing that with us. I can't help you. If you don't mind, I need you to go to the morgue to make a formal identification. You got a copy? 
car here? I'll drive you over then. Would you take me? Sure. There's no real way to prepare someone for this. I'm, I'm sorry. You okay? Do you, you want to sit down? I'm fine. Is that all? Is there anything else I have to do? That's all. Is there anything I can do? No, thank you. My hands are so cold. Like ice all morning, I can't seem to get them warm. You're in shock, that's why. Excuse me. Can you tell me where I'd find the medical examiner? Yes, straight through there. Thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure I can't drive you somewhere? That isn't necessary. Um, I prefer a cab. I don't mind. No, you've done enough already, really. You've been very kind. You don't hear that word kind much anymore. Maybe it's because people are so seldom kind to each other anymore. Thank you. Riker, the medical examiner wants to see you right away. We've got a bit of a problem here. He says this isn't Ann Parkhurst. Who is it? Liz Gatlin. What, 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 wait, what are you talking about? Now, don't you think I'd know my own wife? That's Liz Gatlin. I was married to her. The woman's name was Ann Parkhurst. Why do you think she told you that her name was Liz? I don't know. Well, what do you think? Look, she wasn't the easiest person to figure out, OK? Uh-huh. Very interesting. Any news of the weapon? Thanks. Tell me something. When did you meet your wife? About a month ago, Club Blue. She went home with me. We drank a lot, and she did a lot of pills, and we spent a lot of time together, if you know what I mean. And then one night, we just got drunk and crazy and took off to Reno. She told me she worked as a nurse in an emergency room. I said, well, that figures, because she sure gave good mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. Yes, could you tell me what day it is, please? Are you sure? Thank you. About time. How long have we been together? All total? Ten days. we 
you're doing here. Paul? We're supposed to be having a honeymoon. We got married last night. Or were you too loaded to notice? I never get that drunk. We spent four days in bed or at the tables. I thought she brought me luck until she split, taking $10,000 that I'd won with her. She won your first wife, wasn't she? Don't even think about lying to me. They pulled your rap sheet at the precinct. The fact is, you beat up your first wife so bad, you put her in the hospital. She pressed charges and divorced you. I never hit Liz. You got a real temper. You beat up your first wife, I think you put a bullet through your second. I didn't kill her. You own a gun? Yeah, why not? This is America. Who doesn't? I'd like to see it. Got stolen out of my car a couple of days ago. This morning, a man showed up at the morgue and identified your sister as Liz. Her middle name is Elizabeth, but nobody's called her Liz since she was a kid. You want some coffee? No, thanks. You said they were married. What? That's impossible. I would have known. Well, maybe she didn't tell you because she wasn't planning on staying married. That doesn't make any sense. Who is this man? She's not the woman that man described. He is lying. Right now, he's their prime suspect. Do you think he killed her? No. But not because he was lying. I thought he was telling the truth. I'm sorry. Where are you staying? Uh, Castro District, Anne's apartment. I could, I could give you a lift if you want. It's on my way home. I like San Francisco. It's a good city to lose yourself in. Oscar Wilde said everyone who disappears is said to be seen in San Francisco. Well, there you go. Moved here a year ago. It's okay. I miss L.A. Nobody misses L.A. I do. I played there last year with my chamber music group. Everyone there said the city scared them. They all wanted to get out. The thing about L.A. is it can be whatever you want it to be. It just takes some time to find out what works for you. I called the hospital. They said I can pick up Ann's things tomorrow. I want to get as much done as I can before my mother drives out. You and your mom close? Well, we talk once a week. Sounds pretty close to me. You'd have to know my mother. <laughs> oh, my god. I'll call the precinct. Cut himself going out the window.
What's that? Her appointment book. May I? If you want to sit in an interrogation, it's fine. If you want to play detective, buy a board game. Just back off and let us do our job. I found these in the freezer. Romero? I found myself wanting to pick up the phone and call her and find out what this is all about. I can't. I won't ever be able to talk to her again. I know this is hard, but when someone close to you dies, suddenly, you have to face things about their life that you wouldn't have to otherwise. Like a husband, a drug problem. These, I don't understand. Anne dressed like a Talbot catalog. She wouldn't wear stuff like this. This is right out of Fredericks of Hollywood. She was so modest, she wouldn't even walk in a place like that. I think Anne hid part of her life from you. You think she married that man? Yes. She stole his money? Well, from having spent a better part of an afternoon getting to know him, I'd say she earned it. I know, I should have called first. Actually, I did call four times. And I would have come to your office, but I was afraid that if I showed up at the department, you might have me arrested. <laughs> Can you do that anyways, have someone arrested? If I could, you'd be the first on my list. Here, I um, brought you something. What's that? I made an appointment for the two of us with a marriage counselor, Monday at 1 o'clock. <sighs> Peg, you should have asked me first. You just make an excuse not to go. I'm, I might have. I probably would have. But still, you should have asked me. I didn't know what else to do. I mean, you won't talk to me. You won't go get help with me. I, I, I don't know what's going to happen to us. I, I just think that we need to figure out whether or not our marriage is worth fixing. Okay, I'll meet you. Fine. I'll see you on Monday. 1 p.m. Oh. Hi. Good morning. The mail? Oh, thank you. Uh, last night, you said you needed to go by the hospital, pick up some of Anne's things. I, 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 I could take you by if you want. I don't have to be at work till noon. Oh, thanks. That's very... Kind. <laughs> Come on in. Let's 
Chief Brooks is around. He'll know more. Now, Anne. Anne worked on call. Had irregular hours, but she was a real favorite with the whole staff. She had this incredible bedside manner, real compassion, you know? Yet when they wheeled in the horrible cases, the ones most of us wanted to walk away from, she was at her best. She was the one that you wanted on duty when they brought in the body parts. Talk to Brooks. He'll tell you. What happened to your hand? you guys are thinking but I didn't I didn't kill Anne I swear I loved her <sighs> look you guys gotta believe me I I, I I mean I couldn't do it I wouldn't not even when she wanted me to so you just broke into her apartment uh, no no that's, that's the things it was already trashed when I got there now someone else got there before me and tore the place apart what? I'd gone looking for something. Some pills I'd given her. You risk breaking an entry for a bag full of drugs. Look, I was, I was afraid. I was scared. I thought if the police got there first, they would trace it back to the hospital and then to me. Look, I took them for her, OK? I was doing her a favor. Why did you have to get them for her? She worked at the hospital. Because I'm a charge nurse. It's easier for me. What did you mean when you said she wanted you to kill her? Well, uh, it happened a couple weeks ago. Look, I knew she didn't love me, but it, it didn't really matter. I, she was really strange that day. She looked like Anne, but she didn't sound like her. And this, this had happened before, and I hated it. So, like, what do you think is going to happen with us? I don't know. Best case scenario, you wait around, and one day I wake up and realize, like, what a stand-up kind of guy you are and fall in love. OK. Worst case scenario, we remain friends. No. Worst case scenario is I go to a bar and pick up someone else. I picked up this guy at a downtown bar. We went to his car in the parking lot. I didn't even know his name. Yeah, stop it. Just stop it, because I, I, I hate it. I hate it when you talk like this. I went home with him. Maybe it was just because I wanted him, or maybe it was like the pills you got me. Now, just stop it! Look, I love you. I love you so much. Hey, what are you telling me these things for? Why? Uh, do, you, do you know how it makes me feel inside? Do you? What you really want to do is kill me, isn't it? Isn't it? Go ahead, baby. Do it. I don't care. Oh, damn it, Anne! I'm going, huh? Getting out of here. Don't leave me. I didn't mean it. Whatever I did, I, I didn't mean it. I need you. Look, I can't. I, I can't do this anymore, Anne. Don't be mad. I really need you. Please don't leave me. Look. Oh, God. 
Then what, what have you done? I don't remember. What do you, what do you mean? I don't remember doing it. Were you, were you drunk? Were you whacked out on pills? What? All I remember is I woke up in an ambulance and they, they, they slashed my wrist. yourself again, okay? I promise. Look, I'll, st I'll stay with you. I'll take care of my baby. I don't want you to worry. I'll help you. I promise. How can you help me when I don't really know who I am? How could she not remember trying to kill herself? From everything I've seen and heard over the last two days, I think Anne may have been an anarchy depressant. Or... Well, this may be hard to believe. Maybe even a multiple personality. Oh, come on. I would have known if there were anything that wrong. But it explains so much. Even the drug abuse. It's possible for one personality to be an addict and the other to be a teacher. My sister was not crazy. Look, the thing about multiples is they don't necessarily appear crazy. It's not unusual for a family not to realize. It's not my family. It explains the blackouts. It, it explains the confusions, even the You're marriage. wrong, no. okay? Okay, but if I'm right, it might help us figure out who killed your sister. Is there anything, anything in her past, anything in Anne's childhood that Besides could possibly- growing up with my mother? Look, I don't want to be your client or your patient or whatever you call them, okay? I don't like being analyzed. Powerful stuff, isn't it? Have you read the bio of the artist? No. Any idea who they are? No. Geez, I know a lot of broads with half a dozen last names. Maiden names, married names, women who can't decide who the hell they want to be. But this is the first time I had a corpse with three first names. Or are there more? Not so far. Are you going to broaden the investigation? Well, because of this multiple personality theory of yours? You know I saw a movie about that once, and it took eight years and three doctors just to diagnose it. You've been on this case about 15 minutes.
there were three or more personalities leading separate lives, then how do we know which one of them was killed? The girl is dead. What difference does it make? Who she was the night she was murdered determines everything. Yeah, I still think who she was having sex with is a hell of a lot more important than who she thought she was while she was doing it. Do you have any hard psychiatric proof to back up your theory? Not exactly, but there's every indication her family was dysfunctional. Do you know any families that are functional? How about yours? Make an appointment. We'll talk about it. It ain't Bach. I keep trying to imagine Anne here. Where can I get you? Actually, we're looking for someone. Do you know a regular named Liz? I don't know names. Maybe I can help you if you give me something personal to go on, like what kind of breast that you have. What about Iris? Are you familiar with her anatomy? No, well, that's different. She's not a regular. She lives here. Is she here tonight? Try over there. Oh, you're a sister. I am sorry, I liked her. Were you with her the night she was murdered? <laughs> she was really something that night. A lot more out there than usual. In what way? Oh, she loved doing numbers on people. She'd tell everybody to call her Liz, and then she'd just flip out if they didn't call her Anne. Well, didn't you think that was a little weird? <laughs> no. Sometimes I like to do my hair green, wear purple panties, and call myself that bad. So. Who was she the night she died? The night she died, she was just plain Anne. Then Liz, sometimes Anne, then Liz. Need another shooter? You know exactly what I need. <laughs> You know, Anne. Yeah, I know lots of Anne's. Iris's friend, Anne. Yes, baby. She used to be my friend, too, but she's been sleeping with my husband. Can you help me? Sounds to me like you're describing Liz. She liked confusing people. You in line? Are you waiting for a toilet? No, no, go, please, go. Thank ahead. you, Iris. Where the hell were you today? I waited two hours at the counselor's office. Something came up. You, didn't you get my message? Yeah, after I got home. Damn it, Mark. Want a beer? No, I don't want a beer. What I want is for you to keep your promise. Why is it every time we'd get close to talking, you throw up a roadblock? Why is that? It wasn't like that. Something came up. I had to go somewhere. Something important always comes up. Why do you always do this? Do you want a divorce? I don't know. Well, if we don't work at what's going wrong here, that's exactly where we're headed. You've met someone, haven't you? That's, uh, that's why you didn't show up today. Peg, it's not like that. Are you sure? I'm not seeing anyone, OK? I wouldn't blame you if you did. At least that way we'd be even, right? I guess that depends on how you keep score. Look, what I did was wrong, but we had a lot of problems before I ever met him. 
And sooner or later, you've got to ask yourself, why is it that I slept with someone else when I'm still in love with you? And I don't care why you did it. I don't even know why you told me in the first place. What, what did you expect? What did, what did you think that I was going to do? Why can't you just forgive me? Do you take the boat out much anymore? What's the point of having a boat if you never go sailing? I thought you might want to stay and help me go through the rest of her things. Oh, honey, I don't think I can stand too much more of this. Do you mind finishing up for yourself? I want to start home before the traffic gets too bad. Okay. That's the first edition. I gave that to Anne for Christmas. You don't mind if I take it, do you? No. All I ever wanted was for my girls to find a nice man to take care of them. Well, it's true. Is that so much to ask? I always thought Anne would settle down and marry a nice guy, someone like Brooks. I guess I'll never have any grandchildren now. I never knew you wanted any. I always thought you and Jeff would have children. But you didn't stay married long enough to even get into bed, let alone get pregnant. I knew when to leave. I never divorced your father, Nancy. He left me. Is that what bothers you, that I didn't wait for Jeff to walk out, that I was the one who left? All I ever wanted was for my girls to find a nice man to take care of them. Anne found several nice men, Mother, and one of them killed her. I'll call you later and let you know I got in all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. Lighting candles for your sister, Nancy. Do I know you? You were at the funeral today, weren't you? I didn't know her very well. Sort of a friend of a friend. The two of you were very close, though, weren't you? Yes. Where can I find Liz? You ask a lot of personal questions for a friend of a friend. Let go of me. I want something that belongs to your sister. What? Her diary. I never saw a diary. The diary that she kept when she was a little girl. <laughs> Liz said she had it. Liz is dead. <laughs> I don't believe you. Uh, Nancy, if you try to leave, you must believe me that I will kill you. I light the candle. Light the candle. 
Welcome to Our Lady of the Guadalupe. Is there any way I can be of help? Father, I'd like to make confession. Of course. Just a moment while I get my vessel. something from me, some information, and he threatened me. Please, could, could you see if he's still out there? Father, is... How long since your last confession, Nancy? I've looked and looked, and I can't find the diary anywhere. Well, I couldn't sleep, so I turned the place upside down. I don't know where she could have hidden it. I have to find it. No, it's more than that. I, I need to know what happened. There are things about me and about Anne that I haven't told you. Look, I can't talk about this. Would you? I would really appreciate it if you could. Thought you'd be interested to know, a nine millimeter Beretta turned up this morning in a recycled bin a couple of blocks from Club Blue. Got it down at Ballistics. Wanna bet it's the same gun belonged to Paul Gatlin, the one he said was stolen? I admire you, Kilpatrick. Has a man like you get to be so damn certain of everything? Life experience. You stop being surprised. Oh, really? I would think it would be just the opposite. Got any more ideas about this multiple personality theory of yours? I'm working on it. I gotta go. Don't you have any of your own work to do? You're just going to keep on doing mine. Maybe she gave the diary to a friend for safekeeping. Like who? Ellie? Liz? Oh, look at this. You were kind of cute as a kid. Oh, don't look at that old album. I found that at four this morning as I was going through the bookcase. <laughs> Who's this? Um, it's Anne and I and my mother and her friend. Well, he looks familiar. His name is Frank Carson. When I, when I was here the other night, I saw a newspaper clipping with his picture announcing his engagement. It looked like Anne had jotted down an address. W would she have gone to see him recently? No way. He was my mother's friend, not ours. I haven't seen him since I was a child. What about Liz or Ellie? Maybe they knew him. Anne wouldn't allow it. My sister wouldn't have anything to do with that man. How do you know? I know. I think we should find out. She lied to you. You take care of it. did know him. That's one of Ellie's paintings. Are you okay? No, I can't breathe. I have to, I have to get out of here. What is it? I can't do this. Music. Yeah. 
Nancy. I hit him. Nancy, what happened? My mother had an affair with Frank when I was 12. She loved him because he brought her presents, flowers, tapes of classical music. It was always playing in our house. I can't talk about this. Why? Because I don't remember that much about that time in my life, and I don't want to think about it, because when I get started, I don't know where to leave. Nancy, have you ever been in therapy? No, why? Because that's the way it always is. You never know where any of it will lead. And then what's the point? I'm not always convinced there is one. Frank Carson came to our room late one night when we were listening to music instead of sleeping. He lifted Anne up out of the bed. He said that she was sick and needed to stay in the guest room. What happened? I ran downstairs to tell Mother. She wouldn't listen. She put her hand over my mouth and sent me back up to bed. All I can hear is the music. I don't remember the rest. Do you think Frank Carson killed your sister? I think he's capable of doing just about anything. Nancy, if Frank Carson killed her, you've got to remember what happened now. Can you help me? Yeah, we could try hypnosis. Maybe I can help you recall what you've repressed. All right, Nancy. We're in the house. Try to remember. Where are you now? In the hall. In front of the guest bedroom. What are you doing? The door's locked. I yelled for him to open it. I banged so hard on it, I thought my hands would break. I hear Anne screaming. What do you see? He opened the door. What is it? She's on the bed crying. What happened? He dragged me down the hall. He put me in my room, in the closet. Help me! It's Mama! I'm scared! Nancy. <gasps> Nancy, can you hear me? Nancy, can you hear me? Nancy, can you hear me? Nancy? Why won't you help her, Mama? Nancy, can you hear me? Listen to me. You have to hear me. Nothing from the past can hurt you if you leave it there. Nancy. Listen to me. Where you are sitting is in the closet. That's Nancy. I am standing in front of you. Nancy, I am standing in front of you. I am here in the park. Where I am very safe. He cannot reach you there. I want you to move away from that bench and come to me. I want you to get off that bench and move away now. Did you order me a glass of wine? A bottle. You okay? Have you ever treated a multiple personality? Oh, no, no, it's, it's very rare. But from what I've read, women seem to be better at dissociation than men, although a lot of men have been misdiagnosed. It's just the women tend to direct their pain inward, and they're seen by therapists. Men end up in jail. Men commit crimes, women commit suicide. Is that what you're saying? It's a gender thing. 
Not very comforting, is it? No. Here you go, man. <clears throat> and here's yours. Thank you. Thank you. Did Anne know about Liz and Ellie? I think when they were present, she had blackouts. That's why sometimes she had trouble remembering. But Ellie knew about Anne. She even wrote her a letter. Well, one of the reasons that multiples function so effectively is that the newer personalities, like Liz and Ellie, are not only aware of each other, but they really believe that they're separate people sharing the same body. I know it, it sounds weird, but that was the only reality that Liz and Ellie knew. What happened to Liz and Ellie when Anne was in control? Where did they go? Some multiples describe it as a dream room, a soft consciousness, aware of what's going on, unable to act on it. Like being in a coma, able to hear voices, but not able to answer. Hmm. I think we should talk to Kilpatrick, but I wish we had that diary first. Are you sure it wasn't in the apartment? I looked everywhere. But you know, my mother, took some things with her back to San Jose. Um, some jewelry, a drawing, some books, and... belongs to me now. I found it in Anne's old doll. And I just want to say this mess is Ellie's fault. I never should have let her go to that opening. So what if they were her paintings? I should have gone. To begin with, I would have had a much better time. Carson. Well, talk to him. He adores your work. And I think he might actually buy something. Your show seems to be going very well. Is it? I can't tell. You look like you want to run right out the front door. I think anyone would notice if I did. <laughs> Is it that bad? Oh, I never expected anyone to see my drawings. Well, you can't keep your talent hidden away forever. Why not? Because there's too little left in this world that's remarkable. Come on, show me which one is your favorite. That one. Ellie, our little Miss Pollyanna, thought he was absolutely charming. Come on in, I've got a surprise for you. You pleased? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, she's so hopeless. Well, obviously, I have to do something. Now, would you like to see the office? Is it private? Yes, it is. Very. Good. Because, Frank, we have to talk. Do you remember 
Ann Parkhurst. Yes, vaguely. I had a relationship with her mother years ago. You had a relationship with her. Anne kept a diary. You know, it's very touching to read about what happened from a child's point of view. It kind of grabs you by the throat. How do you know, Anne? Why, we've been friends forever. I lied. I don't even like Anne. She can't handle anything, especially sex. She doesn't know anything about men or their needs. She's never been to bed with anyone. I've always had to do that for her. Why didn't Anne come to see me? Are you kidding? She'd never have the guts to confront you herself. Did she ever tell you that she never resisted me? You raped a young girl. You want to try explaining that to your new fiancé? Because either you give me $10,000, or I'll show the diary to her and the police. You surprised I know about Ms. Gordon? <laughs> Your engagement picture was in the paper Wednesday. What's the matter? Don't I look like the type who thumbs through the society pages? I know exactly what type you are. And I don't think you'll go through with it because I don't think you have the stomach for blackmail. If I were a cop, I'd arrest you and then I'd kill you for what you did to Anne. How could you let it go on? My God, why didn't you stop him? I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? I hope you never have to make the kind of choices I faced. I needed him. He was my last chance, honey. You've always been so confident and cool. You, you don't know what it's like to need a man the way I did. Why do you think that is, Mother? Don't leave, honey. Stay over for tonight. What could it hurt? Don't stay here. Please, baby. Don't turn away from me. Let go of me, Mother. You're all I have left. What do you expect from me? Can't you forgive me? Go to hell. I'll know more when Nancy gets here and I read the entries myself, but there is no question that Liz was blackmailing Frank Carson. 10,000 from Gatlin, 10,000 from Carson. What the hell did she do with all that money? I've got the report back from ballistics on the Beretta. Huh? It's a match. We've got a murder weapon. You want to guess who it's registered to? Paul Gatlin. Frank Carson. Wrong and wrong. The gun belongs to Brooks Taylor. Her boyfriend from the hospital. I'll be damned. Now we know why he was so nervous.
Excuse me. I didn't know it was Anne until after she was murdered and I saw her picture in the paper. And then some woman named Liz Gatlin called and said she had the diary. I never heard from her again. I'm beginning to wonder if this diary even exists. Oh, it exists. Why'd you kill her, Frank? I don't kill people, Nancy. I don't have to. If you have it, I'll pay you for it. The last thing I want from you is money. If not that, then what? You said you didn't even recognize my sister. How could you not remember Anne? It was a long time ago. She'd grown up. The last time I saw her, she was a child. That's right, Frank. She was only a child. Where have you been? We were supposed to be downtown hours ago. I went to see Frank Carson. Great. At least now I know I didn't worry needlessly. I didn't kill him. I wanted to, but I couldn't do it. No, I'm sorry, I didn't. Why? Because I'd feel better. I didn't kill her. I gave the gun to Anna a week before she died. Oh, sure, you just gave your gun to a suicidal friend. That's real smart. Hey, look, listen. Look, she said she was afraid, that she needed to protect herself from some guy she'd met. What, do you think I would break into an apartment for a handful of pills? I, I wanted my gun back. Just shut up and sit down. Mars Kilpatrick is concerned the investigation is over. I think he has the wrong man. I didn't know what it took to kill someone until yesterday, but I do now. And I don't think he has that kind of nerve either. Here. Thanks. Hello. Geez, in front of a public building in broad daylight. What are you, stupid? I'm tired of screwing around. I want the diary. Where is the diary? Hey, stay still. I asked you a question. Where is the diary? Oprah has it. Oh!
Yeah, Kilpatrick. Yeah, the license number is 2JCO456. I'll handle things from this end. You have somewhere safe you can take her? It's kind of a mess, but I've been living on board while I look for an apartment. How long have you been looking? Six months. It takes most people a couple of weeks. I'm particular. You've had one hell of a week. You want to talk about what happened at your mother's? Ah, oh, a man who will listen. Every woman's dream, right? You tell that to my wife. My almost ex-wife. What happened? I left after she told me she had an affair. She's still seeing him? It was already over when she told me, well, when she confessed. She's a good Catholic girl. I didn't think that good ones had affairs. Uh -huh. It was one of those weekend things, you know, she met him at some teaching, seminar, conference, meeting thing. <laughs> Sounds like a relationship out of context. Two people come together because they're needy, but it doesn't last. It was never meant to. What she did was reckless. Do you still love her? Uh, there's, there's times when I try to reach out to her, but I can't even touch her without getting angry. Your wife, my mother, how do we decide who deserves to be forgiven? Because you are still married. <sighs> You're tired. Why don't you, uh, why don't you take birth at the back there? It's, uh, it's the most comfortable. Where are you going to sleep? on the deck. I've done it before. I'm an old boy scout. change. It'll just take me a minute. I'm going to call Kilpatrick. <gasps> Say hello to your brother-in-law, baby. How did you get in here? I came in through the bathroom window. Nancy, what the hell's going on? Oh, we got enough for a party. Anyone else out there? It's by invitation only. You're not invited. Here's my invitation. Somebody slipped this under my door late last night. Bring what belongs to me? That money belongs to me. Do you know who wrote this? There's nothing here that ties anyone to the murderer. Look, I know how you feel. I thought Paul Gatlin did it and I was wrong. You think Frank Carson did it and you're wrong. He may be the devil incarnate, but he didn't kill your sister. Look, couldn't you assign a policewoman to Poses List tonight at the pier and see what happens? 
Blackmail's Bunko's business, homicide is mine. We have the man who killed your sister. Brooks Taylor was obsessed with her. He had motive, opportunity, and we have his prints all over the murder weapon. But what if it isn't Brooks Taylor? Look, I'm sorry, Miss Parkhurst, but finding the murderer doesn't always tie up the loose ends in a victim's life. Reichert, can I see you a minute? I'll wait outside. You're being awfully quiet. You thinking about something important or just doing a little freelance analysis? Nancy believes you're dismissing this case prematurely. She thinks there's more here than meets the eye. Well, I got my own psychological theory about what you're doing here. I think you're stringing Nancy along. Trying to keep her here long enough just to get into her pants. Don't even think it! I was wrong. Of course not. What do you mean? Thank God you told me. All I ask is that you don't call him until after tomorrow. After that, I don't care. I have nothing more to say to that bastard. Oh, you might think of something. But just please wait until after tomorrow.
Who the hell are you? Where's Liz? Liz couldn't come. She sent me instead. How you know Liz? She was a friend of my sister's. You're lying. No, Liz was afraid to come. She was scared you would hurt her. Did she send you with the money that she owes me? I have it in my purse. All 10000 Yes. Let me see it. How did you know, Anne? I didn't. Mark! Mark! Understand. You killed my sister. Why? Because it's what I do. What do you mean? Someone paid you to kill her? Who? Who paid you? She paid me. She did. Who? Liz. see, for a long time, Anne's different personalities were able to, to coexist. They were organized. But the trauma of Frank Carson's re-entry into their life caused it all to fall apart. Liz felt threatened by Anne. She became angry, explosive. She wanted to kill Anne. Liz believed she would continue to exist even after Anne died, so she, she tried to slit Anne's wrist. She tried to taunt Brooks into killing her. And when that didn't work, she hired the bartender to kill her. And that whole thing is possible? One personality unaware of the others? More than possible. And the gun? Liz borrowed it from Brooks and gave it to the bartender. It was probably his idea. Watch yourself. You're beginning to think like a cop. Riker, you did a great job. Even though I'm a pain in the ass, right? Hey, I thought you were leaving this morning. Not till 11. I wanted to stop by and say thank you for everything that you've done. You don't have to thank me. I wanted to help. I thought knowing what happened would make me feel less empty. I don't know what to do. How do I forgive her? You loved her. She was your sister. What else can you do but forgive her? 